Howdy doody. <laughs> if I seem a little loopy, it's because I just walked 18 holes in 96 degrees, which admittedly is better than walking 96 holes in 18 degrees, making Tony Horton proud. Hey, it's time to learn Mrs. Mills, Eddie Vedder and the Earthlings, on the guitar. Of course, the song is done on the piano, but I figured out the chords just for you. The intro and the verse are D, capo three, by the way, D, F sharp minor, A, E minor, you can do a little walk here on the E string, open two as you slide into G, D, and A. One more time. minor, A, E minor, G, D, A. That's your intro and your verse. And now for the chorus, I get to teach you about a very special chord. This is D sharp or E flat diminished seven. The shape may feel a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time at first, but after a few times, your fingers will like getting into this shape. It's D1 with your pointer finger, G2 with your ring finger, very important, B1 with your middle finger, and baby E2 with your pinky finger. So starting on the D string, we have one, two, one, two, D sharp or E flat diminished seven. The chorus, the <laughs> part is B minor, D sharp diminished seven, E, E seven, just means get rid of your ring finger, then G, D, and A. That's the first half. The second half is exactly the same, except instead of A at the end, it's E. So, B minor, D sharp diminished seven, E, E seven, G, D, E, and those last four chords repeat a few times. G, D, E. You'll know when to switch out of that because it's when the next verse comes. But to tell you even more about D sharp diminished seven is my music theory. T uh. Miss Poopadoo. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. It is great to be back. Thank you so much for having me. Ryan, the line is my kindergarten teacher and our music theory expert. Sorry, geez. All right. To understand what a diminished seven chord is, first we have to understand what a seven chord is. We're going to use D instead of D sharp just because it's easier to wrap our minds around. This is the D major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. Another D on the end. That's redundant to write again in my chalkboard. <laughs> Ryan only buys me so big of a, ch of a chalkboard. <laughs> a D7 chord is made up of the one, D, the three, F sharp. You've heard me say this before. The five, A, and not the seven, weirdly, but the note that comes in between. <laughs> I'm holding this bugle. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> the note that comes in between the six and the seven, the flat seven. So D, F sharp, A, and C equals D seven. Simply stated, a diminished chord means you flatten everything but the root. So in a diminished seven chord, we keep our root D. We're gonna turn F sharp into F. A becomes G sharp, that's one half step lower. And C becomes B, which actually makes it the six, you see. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's technically not the six. It is the diminished or flattened seven. Just kidding. I misspoke a little there. It's the flattened, flattened seven, right? There's the seven. The flat seven is, is the C. And the flattened, flattened seven, or the diminished seven, is the B. Back to you, Ryan. Also, check this out. If you take your diminished seven chord and you move it up three frets, once, twice, three times, you'd go on forever and ever until you run out of real estate on your fretboard there, but that's the thing, you know, when the bad guy is tying the girl to the, the train tracks and Dudley Do-Right's coming to, <laughs> coming to rescue her. 
that leaves only one part of the song left. It's the outro. It goes over and over and over and over again when Eddie's singing Mrs. Mills over and over and over again. It's D. E minor, F sharp minor. That's it. That's how you play Mrs. Mills on the guitar. I hope that was fun and helpful. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>